That's some high quality venison we're about to get to take back to Texas with us. So this year, Roche decided to bring Drake out. Man, having two LaRoches in camp means we have two people abusing us now. I want to blame it on Tombo for uh, distracting me. That's messed up. <laughs> ah, T4, what are you doing? Yeah! It's no secret we have fun in deer camp, and that's what you're supposed to do. But every now and then, one guy always lets their guard down a little bit too far. Now this is going to happen. Is someone messing with me? Because I'm going to kill somebody. There he is. It doesn't matter. We don't have a gun. We don't have a gun. No weapon. We've got the whole crew in camp together this week. Well, except for Luke, Willie, and Jason, but that's no surprise there. This is no doubt one of our favorite places to be, Nebraska. We're just sitting here talking, and I just randomly started talking about like deer that, that I've taken off this place in the last six years. And it started adding up pretty quick. I'm like, well, so I shot one there. Shot one down there. One in the bottom. Two, three in the bottom. Is that it? Oh. That's, you know what? That's a good problem to have. There's no question that this has been an extremely high yield place for us. Just about everyone who's hunted here has been successful. And if they haven't, they've been really close. I mean, here's the deal, and I've said this before. If you don't get one in Nebraska, it's your fault. In fact, if you'll go back to the previous episode, you'll see that Tombo and Tfar have already gotten one. And as usual, this year we've got several studs showing up. So this year, Rochi decided to bring Drake out. So now we've got two LaRoches we have to keep up with. Oh, son of a... Oh, wow. That's a real wang dang doodle there. That's a real whoopsie poopsie. Yeah. Does he not know it? Uh, nope. I mean, it just now happened. There's no way that scope's on. It landed on the scope. Good. Did you forget something? Fairly important. Hey, you might want to get out of here. You might want to get, want to get out. You're done. Or gun. I'm gonna get Thank out. You. First of all, get out and pop off one off on that target down there. Second of all, take this out and I'll give you one of my five round mags. I got a smaller one. The scope's fine, but think? Oh yeah. It fell like this. Whoa. Yeah, no, it's fine. We can shoot it, but I don't ever remember even having that gun in my hand, man. Oh well then your dad did. No, I think no, he handed it to me at one point. Great. I don't. But you just said you didn't remember having it in your hand. Did he hand it to your feet, or did, how did that happen? Let me out, Mikey. I gotta go shoot a gun. Man, having two LaRoches in camp means we have two people abusing us now. I want to blame it on Tombo for uh, distracting me. That's messed up. He's learned. He's learned. He's uh, learned. Yeah, too, too soon. <laughs> too soon for that, buddy. We've all got to watch Drake grow up either around us and in major league clubhouses. Not necessarily the White Sox, but um, basically all it's done is turned him into the best and the worst versions of his dad. I mean, he shot a few good deer over the years, but I guess now he's decided it's time to get picky. I'm telling him where he got that from. This is your show, not mine. I was just a witness. Been without you. First blood of the year. Now let's head to Nebraska and lay some more blood on the ground.
Roach and Drake, they just rolled up. Oh, Mikey. It's always interesting when Roachie's around because you never know if he's listening to you or if he just had a stroke and can't move. Get so excited to see all the boys. Especially this one, we're in here cooking and cleaning up after ourselves. Some of us better than others. And now a word from our sponsors. That's uh, that's some high quality venison we're about to get to take back to Texas with us. Sold in Walmart. That was a Dollar General scope. It looks like it came <laughs> on my pellet gun I just bought. Oh no! You'd, th you'd throw it off. You'd throw it away off your pellet gun. This is all. Hey. This is all trusty. Well, it works. Yeah. Hey, don't let them give you crap. It works. You ain't shot that gun much then, because those scopes are good. Those scopes are good for about a dozen rounds, and then the, <laughs> and then the crosshairs just, just <laughs> they dangle. <laughs> That's embarrassing. They just get lit. It's no secret we have fun in deer camp, and that's what you're supposed to do. But every now and then, somebody, one guy, always lets their guard down a little bit too far, and that's a big no-no. You also know that. So, a little person, Jordan, told me that T-Far is petrified, or was petrified to leave his gun in the blind. He said he was scared that somebody was going to steal it. What an idiot. Now this is going to happen. Where in the hell is my gun at? My gun is gone. There's no retracing. I got down, 
went through there and walked back to my son if it was something. I was just like, oh. Someone stole it. There he is. It doesn't matter. We don't have a gun. We don't have a gun. No weapon. If a woolly mammoth walks out, it literally does Look, not you can matter. Throw it at him. Oh, shit. Is someone messing with me? Because I'm going to kill somebody. I don't know why you're looking through the binoculars because we don't have a gun to shoot the deer with. It doesn't matter. Look at that buck. That's right. Look. You son of a motherless. God dang it. Piece of junkyard trash. Freaking. You set it out there. I didn't set it out there. Oh, cool. We get a weapon now. That's great. <laughs> I hate you. Can we hunt now? Cool. Let's hunt. That's great. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey man, go, yeah, you can use my rental, it's fine. How'd it drive? We did it. How'd it drive, is it good? Yeah, it's great. How are the shocks, pretty smooth? Uh, not anymore. Okay, yeah, cool. Good thing I didn't get insurance on it. What'd you do? I didn't do anything, how about, I mean, you wanna switch it over my credit card, I'll pay for a rental. What'd already. you do? What do you mean what did I do? You said we did it. Yeah, we had the worst sit ever. Congratulations. Thank you, appreciate it. How'd you, how'd you go? Can you? Please spread your legs apart so I can kick you in the cojones for taking my rifle out, almost giving me a heart attack, definitely heart palpitations, and making my blood pressure go through the roof. And I'm out of my Lipitor, so I could have died. Is that funny? It's funny, isn't it? Not the dying yeah, part. Yeah, you take my, take my nice rental, you hide the gun. I didn't hide it. Well, no, you didn't hide it. You just put it where it wasn't, which is, yeah, it's hiding it. You can't be too careful these days. Like, people steal stuff around here. Yeah, like, I so mean, yeah, would, people with bad character, you know, they take stuff. Such so today's hunt is brought to you by Canadips. So this is CBD. Nicotine-free, tobacco-free. They make these little pouches for those of you who are trying to quit tobacco. So it comes in five different flavors. Grant, let me try the mango the other day. I mean, I felt like I was sitting on a beach somewhere drinking a Mai Tai. So we're going to sit here, we're going to enjoy our hunt, and we're going to have Canada Dips. Thank you, Canada Dips. He's got that eyeliner around his eyeballs. Oh, Operation Chief Takedown in effect this morning. We came in a little bit late. We got everybody dropped off, went back, kind of took our time. We slipped in after daylight a little bit, see if we couldn't come down in here and get us a doe to take home. We did get to do a little bit of predator control this morning. We were on the way in and saw a coyote back over here. Hey y'all, little varmint management, predator control. Okay. Coming down to the wire. It's been, a, as Nebraska weeks go, it's been kind of tough. I'm getting a little bit delirious, to be honest with you sitting here in this area where we've seen old daggum chief. I hadn't seen him. Rumor had that he's been here. People been seeing him here.
Come down to the last evening and it seems like we've had a relatively slow hunt. All week it seems like I've basically just been one step behind. You know, some would probably say that I set out to kill chief and only chief, and I would just say that patience and persistence pays off. That was chief. That was chief. That was chief. Oh, boy. oh he's gonna help you out. He's, he's dead. Let's go get him. Go get him. Just you go shoot the go. deer, you go Just get go. the deer. Then you gut the deer, then you eat the deer. It's a very simple process, baby. This is probably about 20, 30 yards from where we found first blood before we shot him. Uh, we marked this spot with my hat, uh, and then we decided to give him some time. Um, I feel like he's hit pretty good after looking at the footage. We're gonna kind of be easy and creep our way up along here and see if he's just over this edge, and some of the blood kind of carries on right there, so. Uh, I used to say pretty reserved until I'm sure we killed him. Oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh. oh, dang it, boy. Well, here he is. This is old chief. Came in this week, had a couple of, a couple of big bucks we had on camera and uh, a couple mature ones. It's been a tough week, you know, it's been a little bit different for what we're usually used to with Nebraska week. We were running out of time with this guy. We kind of felt like he was just dancing with the devil the way he kept showing up here and there. And he made just one fatal mistake tonight and gave us just enough time to crack one off. And I feel so relieved right now. Yeah. T4, what are you doing? Yeah! I can't do it, I got a fake shoulder. All right, thanks, T4. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Now we're playing. Now we're playing the game. All right, guys, appreciate it. Awesome. Well, this happens to be probably my biggest buck that I've taken on our Nebraska lease. It was a great hunt. And the most important thing to me was that I got to share it with everybody there that was in camp. Uh, Lange, Tombo, Tfar, the whole group, Jordan, Ben, Jacob, you know, basically everybody, except for Roach and Drake who bailed on us. That's one of the most fun things is when everybody can help you go find your deer. Great to celebrate with everybody there at the end. Except for that little bootleg buck commander tackle effort that T4 has. Ah, T4, what are you doing? T4, get yourself out in the yard and work on your buck commander tackle techniques. <laughs>